home service companies, one of the hardest things to do is to train your team because there's always so much going on. I'm gonna give you my pro tip on how I have created in-house trainings at both Relentless Digital and while I was in the trades. So the first thing is stop trying to reinvent the wheel. You don't have to come up with the curriculum yourself. That is one of the hardest pieces of developing an in-house training system is developing the curriculum. So how I've done this is I have used other people's technology to create our curriculum. When I was in the trades, we used Interplay Learning. Interplay Learning has a fantastic setup with videos that are laid out from the beginning all the way to more advanced things. Plus they have all of the trades in there. HVAC, plumbing, electrical, home maintenance, apartment building maintenance. They have all kinds of stuff in their roofing. So what's great about that is you just have to assign the curriculum. So get everyone set up, assign a video or two a week, depending on how long they are, and then schedule time to come back the next week and we assess that training, have a conversation, and we drew straws every single week. Over picked the short straw, had to teach the lesson back to the group. And what that did is allowed our team to not want to be the one in front of the group that didn't know anything or didn't know what the lesson was about. So it puts that pressure on them to actually pay attention and learn the lesson. We had one guy specifically that was very new to the trade. And because he wasn't understanding the concepts very well, he told us this story after he got drawn one week is he watched the videos 10 times because he didn't want to look foolish in front of his peers. So that is one of my biggest pro tips is assign the curriculum, set it up, lay it out for yourself, whether it's sheets or you just want to write it down, whatever you need to do, let the team know what's coming and then hold them accountable to it. Do not reschedule the training. Do not cancel it. You need to make sure that the training is important for you because if it's important for you, it will be important for your team. If you guys always, oh, we're too busy today, too many calls came in and you decide that you're just going to cancel the training, that's going to be a problem and your team is not going to take it seriously. Oh, well, that boss doesn't take it seriously, so I don't need to focus on it. So that's my pro tip. Use other people's curriculum. If you are looking for a couple other training programs that can help you do this, drop a comment below and I will give you my best recommendations.